Welcome to the third part of this Let's Play. So, this is where the game finally starts to open up and we can finally start to experience the world in all of its glory. First of all, let's take that first vital step and let's walk out the front door. So, yep, that's just saying violating the masquerade will uh, incur the wrath of the Camarilla who will come to find us to you kick our ass. You have some change, mister? You're not exactly what I wanted, but choose, uh, but choosers can eat beggar. <laughs> oh, it's lines like this. This is one of the new ones that's been added. You're not exactly what I wanted, but choosers can eat beggars. So, let's go ahead and eat this man. We're just going to drain him and we're not going to kill the bastard. See? Oh, we didn't kill him. He's just going to sleep that off. We've just dazed him for a bit. He will be completely fine. So, this is uh, sort of a cutscene that happens each time you leave your apartments for the first time. <coughs> so that is my curio. Why is he bleeding? What's going on there? Well, we'll follow him and find out. However, there are some other people I want to talk to first. We could still do with a bit more blood. You can hear a car alarm going off in the background. There are loads of ambient sounds like that to make everything feel a bit more realistic. But let's talk to this chap. Uh. Yes, is there something I can, um, help you with? No. What are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. It's a rather dreadful place, don't you think? You should have listened to my mechanic, by German, he said. Now, we have a few different options here. But, uh, the one I'm going to use is the pink one, because that's unlocked by my seduction level. So, uh, let's use it. Looking for a little company? Yeah, I want to get in your pants. I've suddenly got the urge to walk down that dark and foreboding alley over there. Care to join me? There is no need to go that far. In the original game, you'd have to walk all the way down the alley, but it will just let you feed here, and we're just going to give him a quick snog. So, hello there, mister. Gom nom 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 nom. Arr. So we're just going to gnaw on him until I feel we've had enough. So we're going to let go as soonish, I think. We don't want to bleed him dry. That would be very bad, because we'd also incur the wrath of the masquerade, as well as using humanity, because we will have just drained him dry in public. That's a police officer. They'll come and chase you down once you start being a naughty boy. But we're going to keep our nose clean for now. Anyway. So I think we're going to start by seeing my curio, but we will engage in other side activities. Actually, you know what? I'm going to talk to another character I like, just because he's such a suck-up. We're going to talk to him. Need something, pal? I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, wait. Say that again. <sighs> okay, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man, you. You're a vampire, aren't you? <clears throat> what? Vampire? What the hell are you smoking? Oh, come on. Oh, man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> Just come clean, you know? I mean. Oh man, I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. I just wanna talk. Alright then, let's talk. Hell yeah! Oh man, I knew it. I just, oh jeez, I knew you were, I just could tell. I, oh man, this is great. And I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh man. So as you can tell, he's a bit of a fanboy, but I think we're gonna play with him rather than just dismiss him and act like we're not going to be a complete dick to him. Are you a vampire? How do you know all of this? I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago when this guy just appeared and well all of a sudden BAM! Whoa man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. You said you were a ghoul. What the hell is that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. It can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. Then they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out. Oh, sometimes I do love him. He is an endearing little fellow, but eventually I think we can uh, get a blood puppet of our own. But we'll, we'll just continue to talk to him. I think vampires mostly get ghouls as either servants or sometimes they just like a little plaything. So I think we're going to, uh, we're not going to be a complete dick to the guy. So let's, uh, you seem to enjoy it. 
It's awesome! Man, after that first taste of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Who, who was this nasty dude? Oh, man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just... Well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man! Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? So what are you doing around here? Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey! Ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. <laughs> See you around. I like him, but uh, we're not going to get involved in his, in his side quest until a bit later on. Because the game basically wants you to go in here first. So, let's go ahead and see what happened to this ill-fated Mercurio. Okay, so we're going to walk through this door. And there's uh, blood on the floor, but... So, uh... <laughs> If you can't guess which door, which uh, number four is, the game leads you there with this lovely trail of blood. So hopefully there'll be nothing horrible through this door, and it'll just be lovely. Oh shit! So let's uh, talk to my curio. First of all, actually, I think we'll take his shit. Now there's nothing we can have here just yet. No, nothing else. But now let's go ahead and talk to my curio. Hello. Those mothers, rip me off. Here. Oh. They really fucked him up. So, are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me. What happened? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? This is my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is broken through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. It's a broken bottle. Now tell me what happened to you. Actually, no, I think we're gonna be... No, we're gonna go with two. The option I just said. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed, his crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of his guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks, hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. It's those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Okay. So, uh, let's see, what should we go for? I think we'll go, we'll try to inquire more about the history, even despite our current predicament. So we're going to ask, vamp blood? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a <coughs> month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. So where do I find the astrolite now? Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money, too, that prick. So you're telling me I have to get it back myself? Great. You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna be nice. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I'll bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing. <coughs> about the deal. I mean it. If you tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything. I can help you out. Good to know. Goodbye. 
So let's uh, walk around his apartment before we leave, see if we can steal any of his shit. But he doesn't seem like he'll have too much, so we're going to go ahead and uh, vacate the premises. So I think we're going to go ahead and get into our first real combat situation. With my current uh, stats, I could probably talk my way through it, but I, I want to fight my way through this bit. <coughs> Why? Because the uh, combat in this game is fun as shit. So we're going to go ahead and do that, I think. So, uh, to find the astrolite, you have to go down to the beach. Beach is that way. So, uh, also on the way back, we'll pick up some morphine for the guy. We'll need to go to the hospital for that. We'll go to see this as well. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago on the Malibu found this guy on the beach. Looked like, I don't know, 10 to 10. Shark bite? No, I've seen shark bites to something different. Like whatever killed him, head was missing, hands were missing. And that doesn't sound good, does it? Slashes, but <coughs> well... <coughs> we'll actually find the culprit of these murders a bit later. But uh, that's a sign of things to come, I guess. But that is all to do with the, the Carnival of Death, which I think we actually have an entry for. Let's see. Yep, Carnival of Death. So ominous. Well, we'll see, we'll see how that pans out. But until then, we're going to take a nice stroll on the beach. Uh, I don't think we'll talk to the people here. I, actually, I think they'll come to us. So we'll have to talk to some people here, then we can go up and... Uh, Whack some gangsters around the head and get in fisty cuffs. But I'm sure we'll prevail because I'm a freaking badass. And I've got a baseball bat, which is all I need. They've got guns, but I've got a baseball bat. Mine's bigger. Up there. Through that chain link gate and up those stairs. What? Those men you are looking for. How did you know I was looking for someone? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Well, thanks. So we're going to talk to these people in a bit. But first of all, let's go upstairs and beat the crap out of uh, the drug dealers so we can go and get our explosives back. Oh, this game is beautiful. All the different things you can do. Go around beating up drug dealers. The sort of thing, you know, you'd think vampires would do. They're not going to go around ripping their shirts off sparkling and making love with college girls because that would be fucking ridiculous. Oh, see? Yeah. I told you I'd make a joke. Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, I can't resist it. I know I said I was going to go straight in and beat the crap out of people, but... Do I look dangerous to you? I'm sure a big man like you isn't scared of me. Dude, just go in. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Inflict some pain. What? Well, that looks fun. Now I think we'll... We'll just feast on this bastard. There we go, we'll have some nom noms here. So I think we're going to do this combat actually, so I just wanted to see what that flight did. We're going to go ahead and equip our baseball bat. There we go, delicious. So we'll go ahead and smack the crap out of him. He went down pretty easily because we'd already drained him a bit. But uh, we'll have some more opposition here. Luckily, we're significantly faster because of our vampiric powers. We will have to deal with some guys with guns, but that shouldn't be too hard to handle. Ah, shit. We're gonna have to... ...dot us away. That's irritating. But we can still smack the crap out of most of these guys. Um, luckily, we also... We can now drain these guys dry because we are... Luckily in the position where we're not violating the masquerade, but I'm not going to because there are now multiple guys so We're just gonna smack the shit out of everyone There we go, that's one down and I think he's the last one So that was combat As you can see this was relatively easy combat. I think that's everyone We'll see if we can get some stuff. It's always worth picking things up because you can take him to the pawn shop and We have oh forgot about him We'll use presents. That makes him significantly easier. And I also want to eat him. So there's no one go to stop us from doing this, so we're just going to drain him dry and that'll heal us up nicely. There we go. 
and we're golden. That's fantastic. That's how you win a fight. And we have our astrolite. More of them? Look, this is not a good move. There we go. Experience reward too. I think we should have enough to upgrade ourselves. We can make him bigger, stronger, longer. Okay. That was fun. Character. Uh, let's see, what happens if I increase that? I can't, of course, because that requires eight. We have five. How much does it cost to get that? Ten. Let's see. Melee increase. I think we'll go ahead and do that for now, and then I'll save up for a bit, but we're now a bit better in our uh, fisticuffs. Let's look around and see what we can find in this uh, drug house. There's nothing, nothing obvious here. But uh, there is one thing I do know, because I've searched this area before that we're going to grab. If you walk in one of these rooms, I believe it's around the corner somewhere, here, you can crouch. And we get another moral choice. We can find my curio's cash. 250 quid. That's the only hidden secret I believe they have here. We grab the astrolite, which is the most important part of coming here. Why does it still look like we can interact with the door handle? That's a bit stupid. But we have everything we came for. Got Mercurio's cash. We dealt with these uh, white boys. And of course, I did it without losing any resources because I went all melee. Another way you could have uh, done this is by sneaking in. You can do that through one of these panels, I believe. Uh, I believe I believe you could anyway, or it was right up here. Ah yes, here it is. You can also and crouch and sneak through. There are hundreds of ways to do everything. And that would have been a legitimate way of doing it, and then you can go and snap necks and things, but... I like my way as well, it was just as good. I think we'll end the video by talking to these lovely gentlemen down here. And we'll have, uh... We'll have done our first non-tutorial mission, that's the first quest. Many factors contribute to your defense. Spending the, uh, spending experience to raise which dodge... Wits? dodge and stamina. See? I can remember things. And yet that'll increase your defense, which means you're less likely to get fucked up. There we go. So let's talk to some people here. I think we'll start with this chap. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, alright? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. What are you talking about? I mean, you ain't here to run us off. No, why would I? Why would you think that? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone's sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. What? Why? Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? And we seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Thin bloods, but what clan do you come from? Clan. See, I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just just what the the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. I always felt really sorry for these bastards because they just don't deserve it, and it's not fair. How'd this happen to you? I just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's well been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. Met who? She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And... Go on. I'm not going to be a complete dick. She tried dick. to tell me what she was, but... I didn't understand, and so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. But I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Is Lily dead? Clinically, yes, but honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Okay, let's see what else. Um, you do know you're vampires, right? That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. 
That's what I want to know. Are all the others here thin bloods as well? Aye. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Maybe I should look into this whole thin blood thing. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. Only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. I'll ask around, see what I can dig up. I like these I guys. I appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. She's the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And the one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. I'll see what I can find. See ya. <clears throat> I'm not going to ask for where I can find information because it will come up throughout the course of the game. So, let's go ahead and talk to e this guy. E evening. Are you okay? It's n n nothing. Do I scare you? N n n no, I, I have a sp speech problem. S s sorry. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Again, I'm not a complete dick. Let's talk to this next guy. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? What are you talking about? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a bit of a dick. Should we? I think we should. If he's killed with a highly stake, sure. Interested in purchasing it? Okay, but first I have another question. Um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Sh uh, no, I think it's permanent. What? Oh no. There, there's nothing I can do. I'm not gonna be a complete dick. You can try not to let your condition defeat you. But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. Okay. Uh, let's see. The dead can never live again, but they can survive. Do you understand? <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay, champ. Oh, See, I, I could have sold him a load of crap and made him feel horrible, but I gained humanity and did a good thing. I feel happy. That's E. You could have found the holy stake there. I'm not sure if you can actually use it. We're also going to go up here so we can take a look at the, uh, get another diary entry for Carnival of Blood. Or Carnival of Death or whatever it was. I believe you can just by walking here. But I think they'll uh, turn us away once we get too close. We, we can go ahead and walk in. So, let's uh, see what we can find out, what happened here. I don't think there's anything we can find in this arcade, but it's a nice touch. It's all these little details. But let's go ahead and walk in here and see what we can find. No, there's, no, there's absolutely nothing here. I think that's all we can do for now, but there's the guy. Uh, so that's that's Carnival of Death, but we'll 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 see more of that later. Let's go ahead and return to Mercurio. He's down these stairs. Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna call it a day. This has been Ogma 001, and this has been another episode of Vampire Bloodlines. Thanks for watching.